Welcome to my first episode in a series where I try to find genuinely the best Warframe in the game and point out the bad ones. I will be examining the Warframes and see whether or not they genuinely function and whether or not they are fun to play. Today we are looking at Yureli, the waifu Warframe. Let's see how she holds up, shall we? Yureli is just kind of shit. So I want to talk about the um, elephant in the room. So Yureli got released and then one of the first, cos not one of the, the first cosmetic that they gave her was this helmet. Now this helmet, yeah, it looks fine, all that good shit, but it's got a bold spot. They gave her a bold cap. So. I want to talk about Yureli and her abilities just in order from the ones I hate the least to the ones I hate the most. So the first ability and probably her only kind of useful ability is um, her four, which, you know, does this, sucks enemies into a clump. Which is, it does nothing other than that. Like you can kill them inside the bubble. That's cool. It's crowd control. It's cool. No problem. Looks really cool as well. The problem I do have with it is it is very expensive. If you're gonna if you're gonna do like a fourth ability and it's like a crowd control like that that sucks enemies up, um, it has to be compared against other fourth abilities, right? like Zephyr because it also does suck enemies into a clump. See now I shot the secondary fire again which which does relatively no damage and it just obliterated enemies. There we go. Look at that. Let's, for example, show the very meta one, the one that every second YouTuber wants to show is like, look, I have a slash weapon. Look at all the slash procs. Oh my god. Oh, wow. See the difference. I shot the secondary fire into there. It did damage, sure, because a bunch of explosions, I guess. But uh, it didn't one shot. Also, like it doesn't. You know, there's no, this is no comparison. The next ability, season is. Does this. It's just, it's just, all, it's just so underwhelming. Like, this is probably, this is actually probably her strongest ability, essentially, because of the energy cost. Her third ability, Aqua Blades. This is the one that everybody 
coomed about because wow it does slash and there's the augment where you throw the bubbles and then gets more slash but then after a duration you lose all stacks built up making it quite pointless if you want to do something specific like you know demolist runs or something like that it's good for standard content not bad but the main thing that i find i enjoy about this ability is the fact that it kind of cc's enemies so you can like jump past a bunch of enemies like this and it'll kind of stun them and make them not shoot you that's the only real use for it i have it's a little bit of a protective layer so it's more cc and cc which is okay i mean yeah not terrible but definitely nothing great again like I wish this deflected bullets or something like Zephyr's shield as well. I know I'm comparing her a lot to Zephyr, but it feels like they kind of wanted to go for the same kind of design, but water-based, but then they just didn't or something. I'm not sure. And now we come to <clears throat> her worst ability. And this is the ability that I normally helmet off. This one. Merilina. So... Why does this suck so much? It does give you the damage reduction. They did increase it. But uh, the main reason why this is absolute garbage is because it takes away two of your weapons. Two entire weapons. So she automatically has so much less customization than other Warframes because of this K-Drive. And the K-Drives are terrible to drive in all missions pretty much except like open world open world is the only place where this is kind of okay to have but still you're losing two weapons you no melee no primary for you if you go merilina and damage reduction aside i mean i mean i've got enough damage reduction you've got stuff like rolling guard like protective sling all that stuff we've got enough damage reduction to be honest this is this is stupid. I hate this so much. It's so pointless. I would love them to bring out an augment or just make it innately what the ability does. That when you summon Merilina, you can either hold it or tap it. And when you hold it, it becomes like a sentinel. You know, like a just like a normal sentinel that follows you around and gives you the same buffs. That would be fine. But don't take away two of my weapons. That is... I hate that. That is so stupid. And I know I'm not the only one that hates that. That's, you know, Merilina and the bugginess of K-Drive in tile sets, I mean, has been documented for quite a while at this point in time. It's just, I wish it was something else. Or, you know, and like another companion, like uh, Korra has, where you can summon like a Merilina pet, kind of, I don't know, that probably just take too much animation work or something. But then just make it a Sentinel. Make whatever this thing that I'm floating on, just make that smaller in size and then just float above my shoulder instead of what we have now and give us our weapons back if we want to play Yareli for some reason. So, I mean, her fourth ability is decent-ish. Her aqua blades are mostly useless. But it's okay to keep like some melee units off you if they come too close. It does stun them for a while and gives you time to react. So it is super average. If the duration wasn't as high on this than it is, then uh, this would be getting a way worse rep, I think. And lastly is her passive, which I really don't have anything to say about. It's great. And it is the only genuinely good thing about her entire kit. Just, you can slap on a latum and have some fun. That's about it. If her sea snares, I don't know, shot out more bubbles or something, like twice the amount of bubbles or something, it would be so much better. And if Marilina was just not in the game, that would be great as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've taken her to level cap and it worked, but could I have taken any other Warframe with Resonator? to level cap yes i could have it wasn't because of yoreli it was purely because of resonator and resonator is 
broken. Like, if you don't know what Resonator does, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Look at this. So, this is unpause the boys. Here we go. There's the guys now, they're very angry. All that good shit. So, Resonator, so they're shooting at me. Oh, it hurts or whatever, right? And now, throwing out a Resonator. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> I'm like right here. But, ooh, shiny ball is more important. So, that's what Resonator does. It basically just makes all enemies completely brain dead. And yeah, you can totally do this. Also, like the shield gating thing. So, decaying dragon key. There we go. That's another thing that I used as well. So, I had shield gating, rolling guard, protective sling, all the good stuff. So, look at this, right? Stuff's gonna hit me. Boom, shield gates up, shield gates back. Wow. Look at that. See? Look at that. Usually, when my shield gate goes down, it's your indication of do something. That's usually what I use the shield gate for. So, so, <clears throat> the better way to use your shield gate is, for example, boom, they're going to shoot at me. When my shield gate goes down, I'm going to roll in God to make myself invulnerable, like that. Invulnerable, and then I get my shield back up, like that. Right? I haven't got rolling God anymore, so protective sling, get the shield back up. Just like that. Shield gate down, protective sling, get the shield back up. Oh, well, they're all snared. But you get the idea. That's pretty much what shield gating is. Oh, rolling guard. Get the shield back up. Insane gameplay. It really gets an F from me. An utter waste of an otherwise good thematic Warframe. Uh, there's nothing much more to talk about. I wish she had so many changes done to her. I've got a ton of suggestions. I don't think they matter. Um, I've played her a fair bit, I know her quite well, um, and they, she's just got too many problems. For example, like her 4, I know how it could be changed. Her 3, I wish it scaled with range and had higher slash weighting, etc, etc. I could go on and on and on. The main thing that I think that DE really needs to change about her is Marilina. Marilina is a menace and sucks, and is just not worth just not worth it just helmet that ability off and give yourself resonator a much better survivability tool to be honest that's really it um de if you somehow see this please can we unfuck your really and also don't give her a bold spot why <laughs> okay bye bye